Hello, everyone. Welcome to another beautiful DOS prompt as we, uh, as we experience some, uh, some DOS as it was meant to be. Let's go ahead and play some um, of this game. What are we playing today? Why, it's... Uh, actually, it's not called Apogee Presents. That's not the name of the game. But in just a moment, there we go. It's Secret Agent. And we're going to be playing some uh, some Mission 2, which is uh, nice because this is, as you can see, this is the non-shareware version for people who might never have seen the not-shareware part of this game. So let's go ahead and uh, start playing a new game of Secret Agent while I talk about some stuff. I have a lot to talk about, and I really apologize to everyone for making a video like this because... Um, uh, let's see, do I want to go through that door, or do I want to go down here? Oh, I think I wanted to go through that door. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and kill ourselves in the shark-infested water, and this time we'll go through the door, which is, I think, what I was supposed to do in the first place. I really hate, um, making very talky videos like this. Uh, I think a lot of people end up doing this. There are a lot of Let's Players who, um... I don't know if I should say a lot, but there are some Let's Players who end up... Uh, doing more videos where they are talking about themselves and their plans for their channel than actually making videos about, you know, actually making Let's Play videos. And um, I didn't really want to do that because uh, to me, you know, it's it's more interesting just to, to watch watch people play the games and not listen to them talk about what's going on and what, what their schedule is for making new videos. But uh, like I said, I have a lot to talk about, and I'm sorry I'm going to be a little bit distracted because I'm playing this game as I'm talking, and the second episode of this game is a little bit more difficult than the shareware episode, which some of which some of you might have played, because um, I guess they try to make the shareware episodes easier, and then, uh, hold on, which way am I supposed to go? I think I think I did play through this level before, and yeah, there we go, we want to, we want to go up here. It gets a little bit confusing in this uh, in this game too because, uh, as you saw, I had two blue doors that I could have gone through. I could have gone through this lower one as well and collected uh, those glasses, but uh, I actually did not want to do that, and it's a good thing I didn't. I'm probably going to be all over the place as well because I I have so many things to talk about, and I'm going to be focusing on the game as well as I'm talking. So apologies in advance if I if my train of thought is a little bit disjointed, but maybe it's going to be more interesting that way. Who knows? So, like I said, I have a lot of things I want to talk about. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, and I really, what I was always hoping to do was to just get ba get back into making the videos without a lot of fanfare. You can only kill this robot when he's... Oh. You can only kill this guy when he sticks his... Wow. You know, I'm going to quit to the island map and try again. You can only kill those robots when they stick their head out, and then you have to jump up and shoot them in the face. Or actually, I, th I think you can shoot them in the back of the head as well, but you have to time it just right so you hit them when uh, when their head is out, which I obviously didn't do very well. Um, so, if I can take my mind off the game for just a moment, let me try and get back into my... Uh, <sighs> Why didn't you shoot? I pressed... Okay, you, you have to... There's some delay between... I think you can only shoot... There we go. There you go. If you shoot them like that, you can shoot them in the back of the head that way. As long as their head is out, then they uh, then they disappear. So, um, what was I saying? Uh, yes, I, I really... What I had planned to do was to just get back into making videos, and I figured that I was going to just pick up where I left off and make another um, Quest for Glory 2 video, uh, without any fanfare, without any kind of, hey, I'm back, kind of thing, because that, uh, I wanted to avoid that. I wanted to just get back into it as if nothing had happened and not really make a big deal out of coming back. Uh, but that obviously hasn't happened, and it's been about, uh, what, I think almost three years since I made a, another video, uh, another, like, a real proper Let's Play video. So, so let me just go ahead and say um, what I wanted to say. First of all, I think there's going to be a bit of a, a shift in the focus on my channel if I get back into making videos. And the reason for that is because um, I think I was taking things a little bit too seriously. I think one of the problems that I ended up having with, uh, with my channel when I was making videos uh, like three years ago, was I was just taking it too seriously. I was too worried about the uh, the production values, and I was too worried about uh, making things perfect and about uh, all that kind of thing. And I was just 
you know, it, w it was supposed to be fun. The, the whole thing started off as something fun to do, and it ended up becoming just something that I was uh, I was devoting uh, a little bit too much a little bit too much time and effort and attention into. So I just needed to get away from that. And that's also uh, why I wanted to say that, uh, oh, this is going to be awesome. Let me see if I can, when you, uh, hold on, let me see if I can get this to, yes, I love that sound effect. That sound effect is awesome. When you touch these computers while you have a floppy disk, it turns off the laser field and, um, uh, and it plays that really awesome sound effect. But the problem is, if you're touching the computer as you, uh, if you press a key while that um, dialog box pops up, then it sometimes doesn't play. And I was worried that I might not be able to hear the sound effect, but that uh, that sound effect is awesome. Anyway, what was I talking about? Wait, where am I going? I'm sorry, I'm really all over the place because I, uh, I have like four or five topics that I want to talk about, and I don't know what order I'm going to address them in. And... Uh, and like I said, I'm still playing the game, so gosh, I've already been talking for about six minutes. I haven't gotten anywhere. Okay, uh, so I was just taking things a little bit too seriously, and um, and as a consequence, it had stopped being fun for me, which I don't know if anybody picked up on that. I think I reached the point where I just wasn't having much fun anymore. I wasn't really uh, enjoying the games that I was playing as much as I uh, could have and probably should have, because games are supposed to be fun, right? Um... I like that sound effect too, that's pretty cool. Also, I'm not going to collect this letter Y here because this is kind of... Um, some of you might remember in the Duke Nukem platform games, you can get um, big bonuses if you collect the letters in the proper order. This game has something similar. If you collect the letters S, P, and Y in that order to spell, obviously, spy, then you get, uh, I think, 10,000 points when you collect the Y. So I'm going to leave the Y there until I get that P. Anyway, uh, whoops. Oh, I got hit by that spike because I forgot that spike was in the floor. Darn it. I wanted to get a perfect uh, perfect rating on this floor, but anyway. Anyway, once again, where was I? Uh, I keep getting distracted by the game. Um, so, yeah, I wanted uh, I wanted the whole thing to just be fun, and I started taking it too seriously, so I took a break for about three years, and I think that in the future, uh, if I come back, uh, I'm going to be playing le less adventure games. I think most people um, subscribe to me, and most... Why do you shoot to the right, dumb... Okay. Uh, I think most people watch me because uh, because of my Let's Plays of Adventure games, especially Sierra Adventures, which is my favorite uh, type of game. That is my favorite genre of computer game, and it is what I uh, originally wanted to do. But the problem is now um, pretty much everybody has played the Sierra Adventures to death. There are countless people who have done all the King's Quests, all the Space Quests, all the Leaders of Larry's, and... Um, and I did all the quests for glories except for number three, which I'm probably not going to do. And, uh, well, there's also number five, uh, Dragonfire, which I'm probably also not going to do. Um, so I'm pretty much at this point out of adventure games that I really want to play. Uh, I did Conquest of the Longbow, which was awesome. That's a very good, see, 10,000 points for collecting the letters in the correct order. Uh, Conquest of the Longbow was a great game, and I, I'm glad I did that one because it's kind of a lesser-known Sierra adventure, but now I'm kind of at the point where there aren't that many games, there aren't that many Sierra games left to do uh, that aren't well-known. I mean, I guess there's stuff like Codename Iceman, but that's actually, frankly, it's not a very good game, in my opinion. Uh, there's also Gold Rush. I wanted to do Gold Rush for a while, uh, but that's actually also not a very good game. I'm probably not going to do that. Um... So, what I really would like to focus on if I get back into making videos is... Oh, wait, I could have gone through the door, couldn't I? I think I'm done here. I think I finished this level. And, yeah, those blue guys, those little blue ninjas shoot at you if you get in their line of vision. So, um, if I get back into making videos, I think I'm going to be making games more along these lines. Um, just very small, simple, little, old-fashioned DOS games. Not necessarily DOS games, but probably mostly DOS games. Uh, from, you know, before the internet, or I guess not technically, not really technically before the internet. Let's see, should I go down here or to, what the heck, let's try here. Uh, not technically before the internet, because I guess the internet got started in the, uh, uh, 1960s, but before the widespread penetration of the internet into, 
home computing, which, you know, happened around the mid-1990s. So I'll probably want to get into games like this. Not necessarily action games like this. In fact, I don't want to play too many action games because that's also kind of, um... Uh, kind of one-sided, to be honest. Uh, I want to make more, um... More, more like games that uh, don't get a lot of attention. Some of you, I don't know if any of you remember when I did Green several years ago. I, I made a, a, like a one video of this sort of kind of real-time strategy game called Green about gardeners fighting against uh, pavers who are trying to pave over their gardens. And just that kind of thing. That kind of game I'd really like to uh, see if I can get the sound effect again. Yes! Awesome! I love that sound effect so much, I hear it in my sleep. Actually, I don't, but it would be cool if I... Actually, maybe it wouldn't be cool if I heard it in my sleep, because that would probably... That would probably get old after a while, but anyway. Um, I want to just focus on games that do something different, and games that really sort of capture that sprightly, old-fashioned fun of... Um, of, of what computer games are really capable of, and there, there aren't a lot of games that do that, in my opinion. Uh, there are lots of action games that are lots of fun to play, but there aren't really a lot of games that just capture this innocent sort of um, old-fashioned retro aesthetic that, uh, that I know a lot of people like. I know I'm not the only one who likes it, but it's just really something that... Um, is not very well captured, even by games that try to reproduce it. Even in games that try to go for this sort of look and feel, they often don't capture it very well, uh, with some exceptions, obviously. But anyway, if I get back into making videos about games, I'm probably going to be making a lot of videos about games like this. Just uh, not adventure games, but just sort of fun, little, silly, old-fashioned, simple computer games that uh, that are just are charming and appealing because they're so, uh, you know, sort of... Um, I don't want to say primitive, but I guess you can say kind of um, something something like that. Something uh, I don't want to say retro either because that makes me sound like a hipster. But uh, I, th I think you understand what I'm saying. So uh, I, I mention this because I think this kind of thing is pretty different from what a lot of people subscribe to me for. I think a lot of people who who do watch my videos and who do enjoy my videos probably mostly subscribe because of Quest for Glory, uh, but I'm probably not going to be doing Quest for Glory anymore because there aren't really any more Quest for Glory games to uh, to play. Well, there's still the um, the VGA remake of Quest for Glory 2, which I haven't finished yet. Uh, I do want to finish that. I probably still will, but I am probably not going to be doing it in the... Um, in the nearest future. I, I, I do still want to finish it. I haven't given up on it, but I just want to get back into doing something fun for a while. Um, and so, yeah, so one of the reasons why I stopped making videos was just because it had, it had stopped being fun and I had taken it too seriously and I wanted to just, just do something a little bit more fun for a while. Uh, so that's one reason, but another reason why I, um, why I stopped making videos is just because, um, I did get a lot of, um, I did get a lot of people who wanted me to, uh, like, advertise particular games because, of course, there aren't a lot of very high-profile new adventures coming out these days. And uh, so, you know, when somebody is working on an adventure game that sort of is in the style of old Sierra LucasArts adventures, uh, people want, of course, draw some attention to themselves. And I guess they thought that me being who I am, a guy who plays mostly old-fashioned adventures, uh, maybe I'd like to give them a little bit of publicity. And I'm okay with doing that sometimes, but I don't usually like it when I'm asked. Uh, some of you may remember, I think a couple of years ago, I made a video of the Space Quest II remake, which was very good in my opinion. I really liked it. Um, but um, I don't really want to open myself up to the possibility of, uh, you know, people uh, thinking that they can just like use my channel as free advertising. I don't mind giving a shout out to a uh, to a game if it's a really good game, but I don't want to start doing this whole uh, promotions thing where people think that uh, that I'm going to start advertising all this new stuff that's coming out. I, I don't I don't want it to get like that. I'm not interested in in doing marketing 
and and the problem is, I mean, I don't want to say no. I I realize that there are a lot of promising games that are out there that um, that are uh, that probably deserve more attention than they're getting, and I don't want to just ignore those games. I think that if a game deserves some attention, then obviously it deserves some attention. But um, that's nice. I got uh, twenty five thousand points for finishing with uh, without losing any uh, without taking any damage. That's pretty awesome. Um, so. <sighs> Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not against uh, giving credit where it's due and and diverting attention to new projects that deserve attention, but um, I was sort of stuck between the point where you know I didn't like I said I didn't want to keep telling people uh, no no I'm not going to make a video or I'm not going to mention your game, but at the same time I didn't want to just become this kind of thing where a dozen. Uh, people who are working on some adventure games send me messages and say, hey, Light Blight, can you plug my game? Because it's, it's going to be really good. And I'm sure that your game, if you're working on a game, I'm sure it is going to be really good and all that. But I just didn't want to um, go down that route. So uh, that's another reason why I'd like to focus on games that are actually old, not just um, not just games that are retro style, that try to look like they're retro games, but games that are actually uh, from the 1980s or the 1990s, again, before the internet. So um, if anybody out there is working on a uh, on a game that you think might be released soon and you'd like some publicity for it, that's fine. I understand that uh, your project uh, could probably use some publicity, but I don't want to become a, uh, a billboard for even the, uh, even the most deserving of projects because that's not really what... Uh, not really what... Um, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble finding words because I'm, I'm really trying to focus on that red laser beam that pops up occasionally. This, this is a, a timing juncture where you have to really time when you jump down so that you don't jump onto that spike and that you don't jump through the red laser. You have to sort of wait until there's an opportune moment, like maybe right now. There we go. That was good. Uh, 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 um, what else? What else did I want to say? I'm sorry. I'm still I'm still looking at these spikes. I wonder if this was a bad idea. I almost feel like it was a bad idea to say all this while I'm playing this game, but at the same time, I, I did want to have something going on in the background so it wouldn't be just be my voice and uh, just me talking for half an hour because I think that would be pretty boring. A lot of people do complain that I talk too much in my videos. Like, I, I talk uh, more than I actually play the game, which is sometimes true, but... I want to um, I want to make sure that uh, I get everything said that I want to get said, uh, which I guess is good and bad. Anyway, uh, so where was I? Um, I think that's all I wanted to say really about the about where I want to take the channel. So so basically, too long didn't read or too long didn't listen. I guess. Um, Probably going to be less adventure games, not because I uh, don't want to do more adventure games, but just because uh, all the Sierra adventures that I would want to do have already been done to death, and new adventure games that are coming out are um, probably going to just... Um, like I said, I don't want to do advertising for new games, so I'm probably going to be focusing mostly on silly old little DOS games like this one. Uh, what else? Um... I guess that's most of what I wanted to say about the channel. Uh, I apologize to anyone who subscribed to me because they were... Why did I jump into the ceiling fan? That was stupid. I apologize to anyone who subscribed to me for uh, for the stuff that I've done in the past. Um, you can still you can still unsubscribe if, you, uh, if you're not happy with what I'm going to be doing in the future. Um, yes, I love that sound effect. It's so awesome. Um... Yeah, you can still uh, you can still unsubscribe if uh, if my channel has sort of uh, run out of of what originally drew you to it. Um, and everybody else, I hope that you enjoy what uh, what's going to be coming. I actually don't even know what's going to be coming in the uh, in the future because um, I don't have any concrete plans for games to play, but. Um, We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of plans for uh, for games that I wanted to play. So, uh, what's been going on with me? I don't want to talk too much about, about my personal life, but those of you who watch my other channel might remember that uh, I was really uh, enthralled by Vienna, Austria, and I really... Uh, wow, that really sucked. Not Vienna, but um, 
but the fact that I just fell into the water and died and have to start the level over, that, that part really sucks. Uh, so, I did recently move to Vienna uh, just a few months ago, as a Grüß aus Wien, and uh, yeah, I've been here for a while, and, uh, and I have been practicing German. Uh, I think my German is not great, but it's at the point where I can understand most kind of basic things that are said in German. And I mention this because one thing that I've been wanting to do for a while is make some videos about foreign language games. So um, I know that there are some really interesting adventure games which were made only in some um, foreign, uh, and by, by foreign I mean non-English language. Um, obviously it's not foreign if it's Foreign is relative. It's only foreign if you're not from the country where the language is from. But if, if you're an English speaker like myself, then obviously anything besides English is probably a foreign language. Uh, so, uh, so I have a couple of German games which I was planning on highlighting on my channel because I think my German is good enough that I could at least understand what's being said in those games. Uh, but I'd like to put a call out to anyone uh, out there who knows of any really good games that are in some other language. Um, I know that there are some... I know of at least a couple of Polish language games, which uh, I was thinking of making at least a video on. I probably won't be able to play them very far because I don't speak Polish. Uh, I don't speak anything except English and uh, maybe like half of German or sort of, you know, some some level of German, but um, I would at least like to make some videos that highlight games which uh, are kind of unknown in the Anglosphere, because um, it really does frustrate me to no end. I find it enormously frustrating when there's something interesting in a foreign language, whether it's a, a book or a movie or a game or, or whatever, that uh, that I can't understand just because of the language. Uh, I find that really incredibly frustrating, and I'd like to sort of open that up a little bit to people who might share that frustration, might want to see something that's interesting, which they've never seen because it's sort of unknown and obscure in the in the uh, English-speaking world, just because it was never released in English. So uh, I'm not looking for games that were translated. Most major games, of course, do get translated into major European languages like uh, French and German and Spanish and so on. Um, and that's, that's all very well and good, but I, I'm not really looking for games that were translated. What I really want is games that specifically were only released in one uh, non-English language and therefore are relatively unknown in the, uh, the English-speaking world. So... Um, like I said, I have a couple of ideas for German games in that field. If anybody has any suggestions, I'm open to them. Uh, I'd like... Um, I don't really know what, what sort of languages are out there in terms of games. I, I mentioned Polish. I know that there are... I think there are at least some interesting games in uh, in Hungarian. Uh, what hit me? Why did I lose some health? Is it from the shark? I don't think so. No, the shark is below the platform. I don't know what happened, but I just took some damage for, from something. Uh, I know there are a couple of game, uh, a couple of Finnish language games, which um, which I might highlight just because they're in Finnish and they were only released in Finnish. Um, and what else? Um, obviously, not just European languages. I mean, it doesn't have to be just European languages. If anybody knows a good game in, I don't know, anything could be Chinese or or Vietnamese or. Um, or, you know, I mean, Indian languages. The, the thing is, I don't know that these were really big markets for um, for game development. Like, I don't think that um, there are a lot of games that were exclusively developed in, like, for example, um, Hindi or a language like that. I don't think that... Um, I mean, there probably are some games in Hindi, but I think they probably were translations. Um, so I don't really know what's available in that sphere in terms of... Um, Asian languages, whether it's South Asian or East Asian or some other kind of Asian, but um, um, I think probably it's mostly 
I'm trying to think of what else there might be. Yeah, I, I think it's probably going to be mostly European languages unless somebody has some suggestions. But I'm definitely open to suggestions. Uh, and if anybody speaks any of these languages, if anybody out there uh, speaks a foreign language and um, knows of a good game in your language that you think deserves some exposure... Hold on, what am I, what am I supposed to do here? Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here because if I... Yeah, that laser kills me. Uh, I probably... I probably did something in the wrong order. I was probably supposed to, um... <clears throat> I was probably supposed to go somewhere else before I went there. Oops. Um... So, as I was saying, if anybody speaks one of these languages and you, you know of a good game that you'd like to, um, maybe highlight, uh, let me know and we might maybe be able to do, like, a, a joint Let's Play or something like that, sort of together, uh, go through, uh, a game in your language that you think, uh, might um, might be might be of interest. I know there's a. Um, I remember seeing a game a while ago called. What was it called? What I did I did the same stupid thing again. I came this way when I wasn't supposed to. Uh, there. Whoops. Darn it. There is a game called. Uh, I think it's called Horkileto. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's it's called something like that, uh, and it's in Czech. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go to the uh, to the right. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna quit to the island map and choose a different level. Um, so I don't speak Czech at all. I, I like I don't even speak. I don't think I even speak two words of Czech. So um, that's just an example. If anybody uh, knows of that game or has that game and wants to uh, maybe go through it together, that would be something interesting to do. I think. Um, so yeah, give me some suggestions uh, for games that uh, that I could play that are not in English, and I'd really like to uh, to kind of profile some of them on my channel uh, if possible. What else? Uh, I think that's all. So I talked about yeah plans for future plans for the channel, uh, and I completely missed that robot's head for some reason. This robot is the same as. Even though it has a different appearance, and I just got shot by a stupid laser because I'm an idiot, and I just got shot by that robot because I wasn't paying attention, and I think I also missed that money bag that fell down, and I'm probably going to kill myself on the spike. I didn't even do that properly. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me try to recap, because I know I'm going all over the place. So I wanted to talk about the new direction for the channel. Uh, I'm probably going to be uh, doing different sorts of games from what I've been doing in the past. Um, wanted to do some foreign language games because, um, because why not? And I guess that's it. Also, um, if anybody is still, um, having problems or questions about recording software, uh, I'm curious myself actually, what, what am I doing? I'm really doing badly at this. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and find an easier level. Um, if anybody is still having problems with recording software or interested in uh, recording software that doesn't suck, um, I have been using Cam Studio in the past for pretty much all of my videos, but um, the problems with Cam Studio I think are pretty well known. It, um, it, it actually doesn't work with most audio hardware. It keeps giving you that, um, what is it, wave out, get select, control failed, or something like that, that kind of error. Um, and then I made a video a while ago showing a way around that if your sound card has um, stereo mix. Uh, but a lot of uh, a lot of computers uh, these days don't have stereo mix. Like right now I'm on a um, I'm on a Dell uh, Latitude E6400 laptop, which uh, which doesn't have stereo mix built into it. And um, in the past, I was uh, I was lucky enough to have actually a real Sound Blaster, like a real genuine Sound Blaster 16 card, which worked very well with Cam Studio. And then on my other computer, I uh, I had uh, stereo mix built into my motherboard sound chip. But uh, when I moved here, I um, I had to get rid of those desktops, and now I just have this laptop. And so I can't really use Cam Studio on this laptop. I tried Fraps, but Fraps also didn't work for me. Um, Fraps didn't do anything at all, actually. When I tried to run it, it just... Uh, well, it ran, but it didn't record anything. I couldn't get it to record anything. So right now I'm using um, a relatively new program called Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS. Uh, it's actually made for um, live streaming, but it also seems to work pretty well for recording. It does have a 
record to file option which I uh, which I am using and which has been working pretty well for me as, so far as I can tell and uh, so that's a uh, just wanted to mention that in case anybody is still having problems with recording software uh, and if anybody has any suggestions for recording software other than that besides the classical um, uh, Cam Studio, Fraps, uh, Hypercam, Camtasia, all that kind of stuff, and now Open Broadcaster software. If anybody has any other software that they have been having good results with, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to see what uh, people are still using for those who are making Let's Plays. Uh, and I just got hit by that robot's stupid projectile. And I got hit again by another stupid robot projectile. Wow. I think it's a good thing that I'm getting close to the end of this video because, uh, wow. Wow. I am really sucking at this. Uh, okay. I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, and I just hit half an hour, so this is probably a good time to quit. Let's go ahead and quit to DOS. That's also a pretty cool sound effect. I like that sound effect that plays at the, at the end when you exit. Uh, okay. So, uh, let me know if anything hasn't been clear. I know that I really uh, probably babbled a lot during this time, and there are probably a lot of things that I said which aren't very clear because I was focusing too much on playing the game. But uh, thank, you for <laughs> thank you for watching and listening, if you're still with me after half an hour. And, uh, yeah, please give me feedback. I would like feedback from anyone who um, has something to say about what they'd like to see from the uh, from the future of the channel. Uh, are you folks okay with this idea? Are you okay with seeing less adventure games and more, uh, not probably not action games, but just kind of weird sort of unusual or uh, quirky kind of games? Um, and yeah, if anybody has any suggestions for foreign language games or good recording software that, uh, that has worked well for you for making Let's Plays or Let's Play type videos, um, please let me know. I think that uh, myself and probably other viewers as well could benefit from uh, from some information and uh, tips. So thanks for watching again, everyone. I hope that everyone has been doing well, and um, I hope that I will talk to you folks later and hopefully make better videos than this one, because I feel like this one was uh, rather unfocused. So hopefully I can get back into things and start making uh, good videos in the not-too-distant future. All right, everyone, so long for now, and I will uh, hopefully talk to you soon. Bye.